on, guys. Morgan here, Mozo91. Thank you for coming back to the Talking Boost podcast. Uh, we're just going to jump right into game one. I went to both games on the weekend. Uh, Moose went one and one. They finished with a regulation loss and an overtime win. Uh, so two out of a possible four points. Obviously, four points would have been better, but it is what it is. Uh, so we're going to jump in to the highlights for this one. I don't know if I can show this. If I get in trouble for it after, oh well, I get in trouble for it after, I'll deal with that when it happens. Before. I probably won't do this for every uh, recap. It's just this one because there was some really funny stuff that happened in this first game. So we'll get into the first game. We'll talk about what I noticed that happened and then kind of go from there and then we'll jump into the second game. So this is the first one. It's the first period here, obviously. So this is play right here. Lucius, uh, Chaz Lucius chips it up to Chibrikov, and he just dumps it in, but it beats Dustin Wolf. Like, it, it it beat Dustin Wolf, and if you look here, like, I know he wants that one back. So that's Chibrikov's first professional uh, professional goal. And then we'll skip ahead to... So we'll skip ahead to here. And it's a power play in the Moose. So the Moose are on the power play here. And it's just a great play. Parker Ford, Yalmi, and Brad Lambert with an absolute rocket. Like, just an elite shooter, elite level shooter. Had time to wait it out, pick his spot. Dustin Wolf had no chance. Uh, Brad Lambert looked really good through both games. Um, so he's looked really good. Dustin Wolf is making some big saves. Uh, so we get into the second period here. Uh, there wasn't a lot that happened, but... Uh, I was trying to find where the goals are here. They're like right near the end of the second period. I think this is one right here. So, I think this is one right here. Yeah. So right here. This is one that Salmonen wants back. I know he wants it back. If you watch here, like the puck comes out to the blue line, over to Jeremy Poirier, and it beats him five hole. Like just a squeaker all along the ice, beats him five hole. He couldn't see it, so it's not his fault. But I know he wants that one back. Um, and we'll get to the third period here. Obviously, as you see, this was just like Klapka scores that. He's got to have that. He saw it the whole way. Like, you look at him, he's watching it the whole way, and it just beats him clean. So, like, you know he wants that one back. So, now it's tied 2-2. Um, they just... Calgary really controlled the play. Like, a lot of this cycle stuff here is very... In, like, it's exactly what happened. Poirier right here, and then they just jam it in. Bishop jams it in. Like, that's another one. Like, they gotta get that out. Shouldn't let him walk the line like that. Um... So it was just, like, it, yeah, like, you gotta have that. They couldn't really get anything going here. Like, they tried late. But again, like, Lambert's got some, got a good shot, but Dustin Wolf was stopping everything. Like, they tried. They really couldn't get anything going. Uh, D, like, Dean Stewart tried. They, they really tried. Dustin Wolf basically shut the door after the first period. Like, he was unreal after the first period. It was, it was done. That, yeah, like, that's... They did add one more. Um, so that would be how the game would end. Um, overall, I thought it was a good game. There was lots to be positive about. Um, again, like... Lots to be positive about. Uh, it, it's a learning experience, right? They're a relatively young young team they're they they gotta they gotta learn so uh with that so then we get into the sunday game and this game sloppy for the first period like extremely sloppy for the first period um there's definitely a goal that delia would like back in this one for sure So the first period, there wasn't really much that happened um, as we jump back over here now. But this is where it kind of started. So Poirier carries the puck over the line, comes in Zeri, 
puts it on. But Delia's like so far out of his net. He went so far out of the net. He lost his paint. He struggled to get back. And then Schwint just had the easy the easy put in. Like, it, yeah. Like, just easy to put it in. Um, this was a good play by VL. I was really happy with this. I just wish he would have finished it. He didn't fight in this game. I uploaded the short of his fight in the last game. This is another one. This is this is the power play goal, and it's an absolute piss missile. Like, he rifled that one. Like, Pospisil absolutely hammered that. Like, just snipe show. Like, straight snipe show. Um, they did end up getting one back. The Moose got a power play. So the Moose got a power play, and Chaz Lucius opened the scoring um, for the Moose in the third. He absolutely rifled that one over Oscar Dance. Shoulder, Dance didn't see that at all. Like, absolute snipe. Like, ripped it right over the, right over his shoulder. Then they answered back real quick with this one from Brad Lambert. And when I say Brad Lambert was the best player through both games for both teams, he was the best player through both games for both teams. Like, he was just unreal. Um, so that was pretty much it for the rest of the game. Uh, it didn't really pick up again until you got to overtime. So now this five-minute overtime, Brad Lambert, it looked like he had 12 shots. He really only had five, but it looked like he had 12 shots, and it eventually led to the game winner. So Chiprikov right here, you know, Lambert again, just throws it on the net. And it hits Toninato and it goes in. So the Moose ended up getting the overtime win. Um, <clears throat> again, I think a two out of a possible four points. Not really the start you want to see, but hey, the season's young. They're still a learning team. They're going to learn. They're going to grow. They're going to get better. They're going to have a slow start, I think. The first month, month and a half of the season is going to be a slow start. But I think come December and January, once they start to figure out how to play with each other because they're still relatively young there's a lot of guys in the lineup that have never played pro before there's a lot of guys in the lineup that only have like 50 pro games under their belt um so it's it's just a steep learning curve they'll get it they have two really good goalies back there salman and adelia um so we get danny shilkin look good Chaz lucius look good uh i thought lucius's skating looked a little bit off but uh, I actually helped fit him for some new retail skates while he's waiting for his custom skates. And that explains so much. Like, your skating will be so off if your skates go your feet. So he should turn it around. Uh, Lambert, easily the best player both games for both teams. So he looks unreal. Um, Chibrikov looked really good. So uh, overall, I think it's going to be... I'm happy with how they played. Um, you'd like to see them clean it up a bit in the third period. But they proved in the second game... Uh, that they're not down and out. Even being down by two goals, like they can still turn it around. Anything can happen. So, yeah, they're. Just, I think they're gonna be good. Uh, they got the Iowa Wild coming up next. Uh, this video is being recorded on the nineteenth, so it'll go up today. I'll have the Iowa Wild video uh, go up tomorrow morning, as uh, they have the Iowa Wild series Friday and Saturday this weekend, and they're not back. The Moose aren't back in town until November 4th, so be a little bit of a hiatus there. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, if you're enjoying it, please hit that like button. It would be greatly appreciated. If there's anything you think I can do better, I'm also open to that, so leave it down in the comments. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, tell your friends, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.